Welcome back to our marine build. Today we continue our assembly starting with the pistons. And before we begin that, we check our upper and lower ring gaps depending on the application. You first slide each ring into the bore about one inch deep using one of the pistons to ensure that the ring is sitting parallel with the top of the deck. If the ring gaps are too tight for your application, you lightly file them until the correct gap is measured. Always remember that when you're filing these, you want to file it towards the inside of the ring. That way the burr is aimed towards the piston and not towards the cylinder wall. So we're just about ready to install these pistons. Before we do that, we're going to have to install all these rings in the correct order. So the first ring we're going to put in is one of these, and this is going to be aimed at the 12 o'clock position. So the next ring we're going to go with is one of these slim ones and this gets installed underneath the previous oiling ring. The gap on this one is going to be either at 7 o'clock or 5 o'clock position. And the next ring that we're going to install is going to get installed at the 5 o'clock position and again it goes on that bottom groove just above the previous two rings. So your next ring is going to be a little bit thicker. This is your second ring and you're going to see a little mark over here. It's a little dome or a little dot and that basically marks the top of the ring which means that this gets installed facing the top of the piston. And this particular ring is going to get installed at the 6 o'clock position. And to install this, you're going to actually need the ring expander. And you're going to have to be really careful while installing this because these are much stiffer rings and they will actually damage the wall. So you got to keep these edges as far away from this wall until you've cleared and entered the second groove on the piston. And last but not least, we've got our top ring. Once again, using the ring expander, we're gonna expand this and we're gonna install it using the same practice as the previous ring. And turn that gap to the 12 o'clock position. So we're gonna install all the bearings now into all the rods and we're also gonna pre-lubricate everything in here before it gets dropped into the motor.
So before we go ahead and put the pistons in, what we're gonna do is use a thick coat of oil across all the bores. We take the appropriate piston for that bore. In this case, it's piston number five. So double check that the rings are in the correct location. We're gonna apply a thin coat of oil along the outside, across all the rings. And we're gonna slide our ring compressor over the top of this piston. And we're just gonna tighten this down. The reason I picked piston number five as the first one is because piston number five is currently lined up with the rod journals. That little dot points towards the front of the engine. So this piston has to get installed in this orientation. To slide these in, you're just gonna put it in really carefully not to scratch the walls. Make sure that this is seated correctly. So now while holding the ring compressor, you're gonna smack this in until the piston clears the rings. So the reason why I don't pound the piston all the way down is because you have to guide these rods by hand. If you don't guide these by hand, what can happen is these things dangling, they can actually cause damage to the crank over here. And that's the last thing you wanna do at this point is have to pull out the crank, repolish it, or possibly even have it machined. So I'm gonna guide this really slowly and carefully. And what you're trying to do is get that bearing to line up as smoothly as you possibly can on this surface. Once that's seated correctly, make sure you grab the right cap. In this case, I've got cap number five. Those are numbered. And all you're gonna do is slide this on and put the bolts hand tight for now. So now that we've got the pistons and the rods all bolted in, we're gonna torque these down to 45 foot-pounds in two increments. That about does it for the bottom end. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm gonna get started with the valve train and the heads. Smoking on boofing is my week. I check the bitch like I'm Sorry, bitch, I don't say sorry.